hello everyone in this video we will be talking about we will be uh, talking about how to create an html file an html website and then how to convert it into one of our themes themes are basically the way our uh, local host drupal site looks so say for example if i have a local host site over here and uh, i go to appearance then I have uh, some of the themes uh, here these are what uh, themes are so right now it's the Bartek theme say if I install the 7th theme and uh, when I go back to my site I should see a theme like this and if I wanna uh, see a Bartek theme I'm gonna set as default the Bartek theme and uh, when I go back to my site I'll see a different theme over here this is what themes are and in this video we'll be creating a new theme uh, we'll be creating a design and then we'll be uh, converting it into an, a drupal site theme so let's get started let's uh, create a new folder here on a document let's create a new folder over here And let's name it theme uh, theme one as of now let's create an index file let's create a document and let's name it index.html let's create another file and let's name rename it to um, style dot css and um, yeah I think we're in for the files. Let's open our sublime. Open with sublime text. And uh, let's change the view to show two panels. And let's open our style as well. So there we are we now have our html files and our style files let's open this in our google chrome browser so that we can keep track of the changes that we make and let's get started with the code so first we need to give it some of the uh, basic settings let's go to google fonts and let's choose some fonts over here so i want to go with roboto like that's a really cool font so i'm gonna just add this in my link over here let's give it give our roboto some bits to use and let's link our CSS file over here style dot CSS alright so I think we're good to go over here let's now start a body tag let's start with a div class is equal to header and um, let's give it I don't know let's give it some uh lines i guess home and uh, then there is we get in the navigation bar as of now so we need an about us of course and uh, we i don't think uh websites usually have a contact page so as of now let's create one we also need a left side place uh, where we will be storing the name of the logo so i'm gonna give it a p class of left nav element i'm gonna give it the name drupal and all these tag lines would come in the right part so i'm gonna give it the right part and i'm gonna leave it there so yeah I think we are good to go 
in our header section we have created the parts let's give it another class let's give these left parts and uh, right parts a common element so that we can inline them let's see uh, how our site looks right now we don't need this anymore uh, all right so our basic content has been uploaded let's make some changes uh, let's give everything a margin of 0 px and padding of 0 px let's give the header a width of 100 percent and a background of uh, flat a background of flat UI color so yeah uh, this should work uh, yeah sorry I didn't save that so mm. and let's give it a height of I guess 70 px that should do uh, cool so we have our elements now let's position our nav elements let's give them a display of inline block this should work all right and let's float our right part to i guess the right side of course so yeah let's do that let's float them to the right side and i think uh, okay so i don't like the blue color very much also let's give them a font family then here only let's give it a roboto and in case it doesn't work we're done for and um, now let's go to our right part A and let's give it a text decoration of none and a color of white because white will suit this more and Let's give this them a padding of I guess 8px. 8px sounds considerate and position relative and top 10px. Alright. Font size 1.4 rem. We need to make it a bit bigger. That's a lot bigger um slightly less bigger okay that sounds pretty cool let's give it a font weight of 100 i guess um 100 is a bit less let's give it a font weight of 300 so that sounds that seems cool let's give it a of right from let's give it some more uh, spacing and I think uh, we might actually have our correct position I think I'm gonna quit over here so cool as of now on hover there is no effect but we'll figure that out later on let's edit the let's style the right part let's give it a padding of 10 20 px i think yeah let's give it a font size of 
1.5 RAM I think it could do more than that it's after all the heading um, let's just give it a font size of 2 RAM and let's give it a position relative and top 10 px and uh, left 10 px and um, I think we can give it some more so I think what we're looking for is 20 px I hope it's 20 px um, 20 px is a lot actually let's get let's go with 16 and 15 px and little less cancel and save all right um let's give it a color of white and let's give it a font weight of 500 i guess 500 should do all right so we have our header in place we have our drupal 8 and now let's choose a background so landscapes let's go with landscapes and um i don't know this sounds pretty neat but this one is cool but takes a lot of time to load i guess this one will do the job this one seems pretty nice to me today i'm going to show you how to or maybe people not people streets maybe i don't know i'll just go with landscapes here pretty neutral yeah this sound this seems like a pretty cool picture we'll save this image in our index folder let's give a uh, let's rename it to main or jpg because that's where it's gonna go and let's save it cool so now we have main or jpg let's start a div class is equal to main and let's p let's add some text so that we'll gonna reduce the opacity of course but let's just assume it's there so we're gonna give it p class transparent and i'm gonna give the class transparent an opacity of zero so that it's not visible but we're gonna give the main division a uh, background of red just to make sure it's there let's give it a padding top of 500 px i think 500 px is a lot i think we can go with 250 oh no uh, i think we can go with 300 a padding bottom of 300 px that should do the job mm -hmm. we still need some more so i guess 320 350 would do the job all right so i guess it's gonna be 330 and 330 this is important because this is how we're gonna create a theme from scratch let's it's just remove slide all right i think we're almost there uh-huh yes there almost this is different to different screens but i want a uh, mine to be perfect so i'm gonna go with this and instead of background red let's have a background 
background image and it's going to give it a url of main dot jpg let's see how this looks i don't want it to repeat background size cover all right this isn't as much high quality as i thought it would be but it doesn't really matter now does it this is 12690 let's choose a more high resolution image i guess we can go with this was actually pretty good but you don't always get what we want do we this one seems like a really high resolution picture uh this is going to take a lot of time to download as well so let's go with i don't know um this one this one seems nice let's save image as main on jpg let's save this i want to replace it let's see how it looks uh, not not quite what i wanted so i'm going to go with another picture Attachment fixed. Let's see if I did the fixed thing because no, it doesn't really work that way. even though now that i've done the fix thing i can still see that it has been blurred out so yeah let's go with this one this is more high resolution let's save it my my main gpg i want to replace it and yeah this seems more of a high resolution image i don't know the relevance of this image you can change the change the image as as you want to but I would like this image. Let's give it some after classes. Uh to give an after class you need to define a position relative and a set index of 1. And uh, to declare an after class after the pseudo class, let's give it a position absolute a content of nothing and a height of 100% a width of 40% uh i don't know let's just go with 100% i don't have really much time to give it another class and make the variation a width of 40% the background of hashtag black opacity of 0.5 a uh, z index minus 1 and what else have we missing I think we've covered pretty much oh, uh, left zero and top zero. I think this should be it all right. So pretty cool. Mm but not much not enough for me. So let's change the after class to before pseudo class. let's give it a 50% uh let's uh decrease the width from 150% and let's see how this one looks oh uh, i haven't really done anything right now so this one will look much better now so i think i'm going to go with 0.7 over here and i guess i'll keep it to 0.0.5 uh, over here and 0.3 over here all right so this looks nice uh 
I wanted to skew it but if I skew it then it might not look the way I want it to be um, let's see transform skew Forty five degree. Uh -huh. Never mind this queue. I think it it might be a bad idea. Let's just give it another try. Uh, let's remove the opacity as of now. Let's see how this one looks. I want to minus 200 px now this might not be responsive so if it doesn't really look that good i'm gonna leave it so let's see i'm gonna skew it a bit more 75 degrees should do the job not really it didn't do any job and Nah, I think I'm gonna reverse back to my original changes and leave them to that. This is pretty decent as it is. Uh, if I wanted to, I can give it a width of 60%. Uh, no, wait, I will give it a width of 35% this will start from 35 percent and it will have a width of i don't know if i would be 65 percent so all right if i want to give it a color i can give it a color let's see flat by colors let's choose a drupal color over here so Let's go with RGBA. Let's go with RGBA. Hmm. All right. If you want a landscape, you can have a landscape. Landscapes. this looks pretty neat as well we wasted a lot of time so i'm gonna keep this one short and uh, all right let's keep this short and to the point now we have wasted a lot of time over here so after after doing this let's head over to our uh, about section so dev uh, we need an about section for site dev class is equal to about uh, of course there is an h1 over here which says about us for obvious reasons and then there is a p tag which we will be filling up with lorem ipsum so if you just excuse me and all right so we have our content and it's not a lot of content i know so let's copy paste it again think this should be enough content this should be more than enough content let's delete some of it design matters as well so all right we have our about here let's give this about some padding let's give it a padding of 50 px should do the job let's align it centrally
let's give the about h1 a font weight of 300 font size of 3 rem padding of 50 px okay that's fine that seems neat and let's give the about p width of 50% text align of left and font weight of the so mm -hmm. uh, 50% is dot less this uh, is better <coughs> or do we go with 100 mm -hmm. pretty neat huh I think we are done for now uh, we didn't add any animation effect to a right by it and this and it seems quite lonely so let's give them some animations after so for that I need to give it a position of relative and z index of minus z index of, of 1 and I'll give the after element a position of absolute <sighs> content of nothing height of 100% width of uh, 0 actually let's give it a height of 0 as well I'm gonna give an effect uh, that goes from top left to bottom right so no height no width top 0 left 0 opacity 0 background this is FFF and um, transition would be say 0.3 seconds sounds legit enough for me and I think we have done the major parts now let's go with dot right dot right part a hover what happens after we hover so they should be height should be 100% width should be 100% opacity should be 1 bottom 0 right 0 and uh, when we hover on right part a hover color should be flat Sorry, I keep opening that flat UI colors. So, color should be this. Tran let's give this a transition timing as well so that the animation doesn't look abrupt. Alright, so we have managed right part A, however something must be wrong right body hour all right i yeah so this is where the problem is we don't get the z index so this sounds pretty neat let's give it a border radius of 10 px cool so we have our site ready this is our site i don't know if our after classes look good or not let's see
yeah much better now so let's leave it without them I as of now I don't want our uh, header to look so big I don't think that it's working or anything let's just position our menu I think that gray effect is because our image is not in the background so let's give it a position relative and top of minus 70 px because that was the height I don't uh, okay I guess we need to give our header file some z indexes as well let's give them a z index of 4242 okay not working I guess mm -hmm. I don't think it's working for some reason I think it's because it's not fixed for something so maybe if we fix the header even though it's gonna mess up the alignments and all but it's worth a shot okay not didn't mess up the alignment to that extent so guess we are okay with that we might alright so we might need to you know give it this all right so cool this seems pretty nice and uh, we have the bot section so now we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this uh, file into our this index file where is it we're gonna convert this entire file into a theme and also we're gonna install this theme to do that we need to head over to our theme directory let's name we need to drupal theme or i guess just theme as of now and uh, we need to create our info file for our drupal site so we're gonna do that uh, among other things and we're gonna create an info file but before we do that we need to uh, rename our index file it's not gonna be uh, an index file like this so we'll be renaming our index file to the name of our theme and then instead of uh, naming it to be uh, index.html we're gonna name it page dot HTML dot uh, twig twig is basically a machine which helps us combine the theme codes and everything so that's what we're gonna be naming it so we name page and page dot thumbnail dot page dot twig HTML dot twig so we go with that and 
we'll now be creating a info.yml file uh, let's create a new document namely uh, info wait we need to give it a theme dot info dot email and we need to create another document namely theme dot libraries dot libraries theme dot libraries dot email so we are done now so we are done now uh, we have created the info.vml file and libraries.yml file info.yml file will help us uh, will help us you know uh, tell Drupal that okay this is what the theme is all about and the other details of it and libraries are gonna define what things we are using in our Drupal site as of now and we renamed it to page.html.twig because we know because twig is basically a theme engine which we're gonna use uh, so that uh, basically uh, twig is um, you is used for themes and everything uh, in case you wanna know more about twig we can google it out over here uh, just give me one second uh, so twig in drupal usually usually means uh, twig is basically a php template which is a default engine and it helps us in creating uh, theme templates so let's head back to our directory and we've created the style i guess you not saved it let's save uh, all right so I think we can't do that anymore because we have changed the name of our directory so that is why we can't change it let's now edit the Drupal file so let's give it a name theme theme type theme I think we can't do that uh, or we can basically so I don't know um, I'm just gonna close it right here let's just give it another name I don't know maybe a Drupal theme or something I am not really comfortable with the name just theme let's rename this let's make it Drupal theme all right let's rename this rename this to uh, Drupal theme let's rename this to Drupal theme of libraries by email all right so let's now open all these files in our sublime let's open this in our sublime we'll be needing to make changes to our HTML dot x so open with sublime all right so now we make changes in our Drupal file let's give it a name Drupal theme let's give it a type theme let's give it a description Drupal theme and let's give it a package custom let's give it a core 8 point x because if we don't do this it's not gonna uh, accept it uh, and tell us that it's not compatible uh, let's give it some libraries all right so 
libraries and uh, libraries are basically that uh, the things in our sites let uh, libraries are basically like uh, when i enter the regions so in this uh, uh, lib this is the part of the libraries uh, basically first we first we need to enter that enter a dash and then theme uh, drupal theme and uh, enter style and then uh, we need to go to our uh, first we need to type the name of our drupal theme and then go to a style so that is a library one and then bef after we do that we need to enter a region so let's do that and regions are basically regions are basically uh, the these areas of our website uh, this is the header this is the main content this is the about us so these are the contents uh, we have so we need to define them so it's time to give our regions uh, regions like my header would be uh, my header and then there would be my main directory so i'm gonna give it to main and let's give it to main page main page all right and no just main page and then there is the uh content uh so that is the about us content so i'm gonna name it about content and i'm gonna save this file now i think we are good to go over here expect this i'm checking it for uh checking it for a uh, like uh, basically this is a drupal standard I, I have in my i have installed in my sublime so i'm gonna check it for this this is a uh, need exp this is an expected and where does it expect all right it expects a new line i will understand uh, what kind of new line it expects so let's try it again i don't know let's open it in terminal and Let's really figure out if it if the CBF can check it PHP CBF uh, the command was Drupal standards is equal to Drupal the new site is page no wait it's Drupal or info dot gmail Drupal info Drupal theme dot info dot gmail um PHP it let's first check if
see is I it does have Drupal so what's the problem I think the problem must be that I haven't added the dash this should work right now I think it cannot find anything so let me just check so it was a basic error I had not added two dashes so let's just since PHP CBF can solve that error let's use that and let's check it so there are no more errors alright let's go to our sublime text and let's check for errors there are no errors so uh, we're done with our drupal theme.info.email let's now move to our uh, lib themes or libraries and let's give it a style css let's uh, css theme and then there's style dot css which is covered by close brackets so let's save this this is our library file uh, we'll be saving this as well and let's check for Drupal standards over here so it expects a new line that's okay with us I don't think it works again so let's just open the terminal Drupal theme dot libraries so let's change this to libraries and I think it can error it can make the changes so let's just <sighs> so we could easily do that so now we have actually created the library forms and uh, the info.email file now that we have added the regions over here we need to make the changes in our uh, in the main index file as well so I'm gonna start with two curly braces and I'm gonna enter uh, page dot page dot my header and page dot my header and I'm gonna save this then I'm gonna go over to my main container of the image the background image and I'm gonna type in uh, type it page dot it was main so I'm gonna type in main I'm gonna save it and let's go to our about page and give it two curly braces and I'm gonna type it page dot uh, this was content so I'm gonna go with page dot content and let's save it so our file is now ready let's uh, move our file to our let's move this Drupal theme from our Drupal directory to variable via directory slash w directory slash html slash Drupal 8.4.3 slash themes and let's paste this here let's hope our site works so let's go to local host as a great let's go to appearance 
and let's see so we can see our install theme over here let's click on install and set as default and let's go back to our site and uh, we can see that the site has been installed but it's not actually reading our CSS for some reason I don't know there must have been an error in reading the CSS file so let's figure that out let's see as to what might have been the error sorry about this um, I can see that there is my HTML content and all so there seems to be no problem with that main problem is that it's not actually taking in my style.css so let's check out and get back let me so we want to go to configuration and go to performance and clear the caches and all everything let's hope it works in that case and let's go back to our site still doesn't work so let's load another time um, still not working there seems to be an error in our CSS file uh, let's see it does not show any images so <coughs> let's try the configuration again and clear the caches once again and let's go back to our site so I figured out what the error was so when I go to my info.yml file I need to give a space over here between the dash and the name and I'll click on save over here if I click on refresh it won't make any difference right now I need to go to my configuration and I need to go to my performance I need to go and clear all the caches and after I do this and only this will I be able to go back to my site and able to access my Drupal uh, theme over here now these are the random content that I have uh, I can remove that if I want to or if I don't want to I, I can let them be there so that is how you can uh, that is how you can convert all the necessary files um, thank you guys for watching and this is how you can convert an HTML index file that you can, that I just created right now and uh, convert it into a Drupal uh, theme.